Uh, whey protein is also water soluble and very rapidly digested. It's referred to as quick digesting, uh, where casein is less soluble. Uh, obviously, the whole difference between casein and whey is cheese making. When you put uh, milk into an acid environment, uh, you precipitate out casein and that's cheese and what's left over is the liquid and that's whey. If you're trying to get a muscle protein synthesis with whey, you can do that with 23 to 25 grams of protein. If you do it with casein, you can get the same effects, but it's going to take 30 to 32 because of the slower curve. It digests slower. You can go to a plant-based diet, but you have to realize it always takes more total protein and more total calories to get the same effects. So Luke Van Loon has done a lot of that research. He's in the Netherlands. And, and what he did was look at basically adding a fourth protein meal to the day at nighttime. And he used casein for exactly that same idea. But he was using he was using about a 40 gram meal, uh, like an hour before sleep. And so they get a slow digestion, amino acids higher. And they did find that, again, by adding a fourth meal of that type of protein, the young athletes uh, gain both mass and strength. Would you say ideally, if this is someone who's really geared towards strength training and, and building muscle that, you know, four spikes of muscle protein synthesis is, is sort of like the sweet spot. That's generally where I would go. If I was talking to an athlete, really looking to build muscle and I would make, you know, I would center each of those around the leucine target. Um, I think the, I think the first meal and then the later meals are the more important the reality is nobody has really shown any real effect of lunch on muscle protein synthesis. <laughs> uh, yeah. We know that that first meal is critical, yeah. but the first meal, the hangover from the first meal lasts a long time. And we really don't know that the second meal has much effect. Hmm. We know quite a bit about the third meal. Uh, so first and third, we know for sure, as you pointed out, there's some data about a fourth meal but the reality is we don't know much at all about the second meal. Uh, you commented on two meals a day. That's kind of my pattern. Uh, I'm in, not interested in muscle building. I'm interested in muscle protection and sort of weight maintenance. And so I'm kind of controlling calories while I'm maxing my protein, you know, sort of a cost ratio benefit. <laughs> You know, I think one has to realize that there would be an adaptation. So if you were a vegan having 20 grams per meal or less, and all of a sudden you took in 100 grams, chances are you wouldn't digest and absorb that very well. But if you get used to it over a period of a week or so, no one really has an upper limit for digestion. I mean, if you have a meal with 100 grams of protein in it, and it's something you've done sort of routinely, uh, you're gonna digest and absorb it all. Uh, you're not gonna use it very efficiently. <laughs> mm -hmm. We think there's a sweet spot between 25 to 55, maybe 60, 